diseases of peach so uh, we will see the list of important diseases in peach so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, uh, peach peach leaf called which is caused by taphrina deformans powdery mildew which is caused by sparathica panosa var persicae rust which is caused by puxinia pruni spinosae scab which is caused by venturia carpophila now we will see in detail about uh, one by one the first one is leaf curl which is caused by taphrina deformans so coming to the symptoms of the disease we can see here discoloration of the leaves leaves con uh, converted into you know uh, you know reddish purple color discolorations on leaves curling of leaves distortion of leaves and we can clearly see different types of symptoms the name it, the sorry the name itself indicates curling so leaf curl so major symptom is curling of leaf along with the distortion where the leaves are converted into reddish purple color leaves here we can see both the leaves and petioles are curled here both the leaves and petioles are curled here along with uh, uh, we can clearly see curling inward inward curling of leaves can be seen so in later stages the affected leaves will die and drop prematurely so in in sometimes flowers and fruits also get infected they drop prematurely the main symptoms can be seen on leaves so coming to the management aspects removal and burning of the infected plants or leaf shoots can reduce the spread of the disease so along with the spraying of bodomiter 1% and also spraying of bodomiter 1.2% during uh, dormant stage as well as uh, bud initiation stage can give a uh, control so coming to the second one powdery mildew which is caused by sparathica panosa var persicae the name itself indicates powdery growth can be seen on leaves twigs fruits we can see this symptom so here the symptom can uh, can be normally white color superficial white i mean powdery growth can be seen on infected fruits and as well as leaves mainly infected fruits and leaves white color powdery growth we can clearly see so moreover the fruit infected fruit along the uh, i mean uh, infected fruits also converted into or maybe turned into pinkish color or dark brown in color along with the Uh, along with you know development of white color superficial growth of powdery mass along with that and pinkish color or brown color uh, discoloration of the fruits also we can observe so coming to the management aspects uh, spraying of edible sulfur 0.3% or carbendazim uh, 0.1% can uh, control the disease or can manage the disease coming to the next disease rust which is caused by puxinia pruni spinosa so here uh, symptoms can be seen on the both surfaces on lower surface and upper surface of leaf we can clearly see brown color dusty pustules or brown color or red color rust pustules can be seen initially on the under surface of leaves or lower surface of leaves later the pustule can appear on the upper surface of leaves leaves also along with yellowing of all yellowing symptom this red color or brown color pustules which was surrounded by yellow halo we can see here we can see here red or brown color pustules along with yellow halo we can see this in leaves on lower surface later you can spots also can be observed on the upper surface but bright yellow color discolorations are uh, uh, pale yellow color discolorations also can be observed that can be caused or uh, surrounded by this brown color i mean uh, uh, spots so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, burn out the infected plants and uh, cut down and spraying of zinc 0.2% and dusting of sulfur can give effective control so coming to the next disease scab venturia carpophila so this this is mainly infects of fruits twigs and leaves if if we, uh, if we see the major symptoms in fruits uh, we can see dark circular olivaceous spots can be seen on fruits this these are the major symptoms of a scab the name itself indicates scab olivaceous spots can be seen here and uh, so the fruit size also irregular if compared to other fruits irregular sized fruits can be seen and the same symptoms can also observed on a light brown color uh, discolorations also observed on twigs but the major symptoms are uh, we can see on fruit because uh, uh, our economic part is fruit because uh, if this spots uh, this uh, type of olivaceous spots or lesions can appear uh, appear on fruits it can uh, reduce the market value so uh, uh, this is about scab so coming to the management aspects uh, cut and burn the infected plants and uh, uh, you know pruning also be one of the uh, important one for air circulation and chemical sprays like uh, you know silver top or green tip uh, for uh, this uh, disease 
I mean, this stage, uh, mango zip 4 gram per liter can be uh, recommended. And pink bud stage, carbid zip 1 gram per liter can be recommended. At fruit initiation stage, captain at the rate of 3 gram per recommended. While we are spraying, uh, spraying captain, the size should be peanut sized shape. Uh, fruits can be seen later. Uh, the size of the fruits can be increased. During peanut size, uh, uh, during the size of peanut, we can spray the captain at the rate of 3 gram per liter of water. And... Uh, 14 days before harvest, we can uh, go with uh, hexagonazole 1.5 gram per liter of water can be recommended. So coming to questions related to ARSR net, we can expect uh, some, uh, one question uh, that is uh, a peach leaf curl. Uh, they can ask like this, peach leaf curl is caused by taphrina deformance. Very very important. I think uh, this disease has no sexual stage, I think so. So this is the, uh, the one important one that I had seen in many areas. So this is about peach.